This is the 18.5 inch barreled Caltech KSG pump action shotgun. And it's an absolute tactical monster. If you're looking for a shotgun with firepower that'll make your neighbors raise an eyebrow, this might be exactly what you're looking for. Initially, you might say, hey, a 12 plus one shotgun, where are you hiding all of those rounds? Well, let's dive in to find out. Let's start with the most ridiculous portion of the shotgun. It's going to be that dual magazine tube on the bottom. Each of these holds six rounds, and then there's plus one that you can add as well, totaling out for a total of 13 shells. Of course, that makes this perfect for a horde of zombies or ruining your shoulder, depending on your preference. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start with the front. Up front, you can see you do have the two magazine tubes and the barrel, which does make sense. Your sling mounts are just above and beside that barrel, just a little bit, with a polymer forend here that you can, of course, use to pump. Up top, we do have a fully metal Picatinny rail that will mount pretty much any sites that you're going to need, although with it being a pump action, not sure exactly which sites you're going to need. This might be a more useful feature, a Picatinny rail on the bottom to allow you to mount pretty much any grip that you would like to, making it easier to rack. Completing Caltech's unique design here, you can see they go with a squared texture on the sides and the grip of the shotgun itself, making it overall have a very unique feel and finish to it. They also included little notches right above the magazine so you can see exactly how many rounds you have left in the tube. Of course, this is only a single barreled shotgun, so those tubes are going to feed one and one and one. Heading on down just a little bit, you do have your forend release right here, so that way you can pump the shotgun without pressing that. It does not allow you to move it. Of course, you push that down and you're able to rack it. This sounds like a good time to note that this does have that classic pump action shotgun sound that'll scare any intruder out of your house if they're not supposed to be there. Beyond that, you do have a polymer trigger guard and a polymer trigger. But what does that trigger feel like? Let's find out. Okay, the trigger does have a bit of take up here, very minuscule might I add. Once you get to that take up there, there's a very clearly defined wall with a very nice break. I can feel that spring through the butt of the shotgun. It is a very powerful spring. Down to the grip, as we had discussed earlier, you do have that square patterned grip, which is going to help you overall with holding this and keeping it nice and pressed against your shoulder, especially even if you start to get a little bit sweaty. Heading on up, there is a safety as well. It's a square safety, very easy to find. Red for dead, black means it's not ready to fire. And that is, of course, on this side. It's not an ambi safety, it does pass through the firearm one of them being for fire, one of them being for not. Heading on back, we do have a metal portion of the shotgun. It's all metal right here with a polymer portion down below where you're going to feed in your shells. Underneath the shotgun, inside that little magwell area, there is a switch that will help you choose which barrel to feed. So if you want to use both of them, you can use both. If you want to use one or the other or feed one or the other, you can do just that. Last but not least, you have your butt pad. The butt pad for the shotgun does have that squared texture that you've seen all throughout the shotgun, which is nice. A kel logo, and it is got a nice rubbery texture to it to help with all of that 12 gauge recoil. In conclusion, kel has created a seriously powerful, seriously ridiculous and feature packed shotgun. You couple that with the magazine capacity that this thing has, and if you need a home defense beast or something that just doubles as a range day showstopper, the KSG deserves a long, hard look. If you have any experiences with the Caltech KSG, please leave a review down below. We would love to hear your comments. That is all I have for you today. God bless, stay safe. It is time to end.